My greatest strengths would be not being afraid to call a spade a spade. You know, I would tell the people that were diddling the canine to stop doing that. I mean, uh, you know, I, I've got the guts to do that. But uh, you got to be able to use a little diplomacy too. And I suppose uh, sometimes it takes me a while to, uh, to build up, you know, before I will say, look, you stop doing that or I'll fix it up so that you do stop it. And, and that's my weakness. What I should do is uh, I, should, I should get on with this uh, biker justice, we'll call it. It's immediate and it's ruthless, but it certainly gets the job done. The greatest strength would probably have to be my ability to talk to people and, you know, I've never been to a Toastmasters and I could have some perfections taken care of, but at the same time I use a lot of heart and people view me and they see me and they always respect what I'm saying because I am saying what I really want to be done and it is in the best interest of the people. Um, my, what was the second part? The weakness. My weakness? Oh. My weakness at this point in time would obviously be my lack of experience in the municipality and politics. Um, people view me as far too immature, not literally, but in the process. So I need to try and prove that I'm willing to learn and take in what everyone wants and do the best I can. My 25 years of experience in business in the, in the private sector, it's the diversity of those experiences. Uh, I've worked for large companies and small companies. I've worked in a union environment and a non-union environment. I've been a manager and employee. Uh, and through all of those diverse experiences, I've learned a lot about myself and about business, the necessity to listen to your customers. Working in the marketing and communications field for more than a decade has certainly given me two strengths that will be absolutely essential as mayor, and that's asking questions and listening to the answers. And we need to do more of that to ask the questions and challenge our staff to look at innovative ways, but also continually listen to our customers. And those are skills that I've developed through those diverse experiences in the private sector from my business experience that will be a critical asset as we move forward uh, as mayor. What would be your weaknesses? Certainly one of the uh, issues that I hear that uh, certainly goes around and spreads certainly when you get into the political environment during election is the, the issue of how quickly you make decisions. And I learned early on council uh, way back in 93 when we I were asked to take out a bus stop by a bunch of residents. We aggressively wanted a response. We took it out and the next week we had the same number of residents demanding we put it in. It was a valuable lesson for me to learn that you better listen and listen to both sides. And that's why it's important and I continually challenge and have for the 12 years that I sat on council to look at everything from all perspectives and make sure you have a wise decision uh, and you come to that through consideration of all aspects. And that's something I pride myself on, but certainly am uh, criticized, I suspect, as having uh, that being a weakness. From a, uh, from a strength point of view, I suppose, is uh, tenacity, keeping, keeping my eye on the spot on the wall. What's the, what's the end goal? And uh, the ability to focus. Uh, greatest weakness, I suppose, is keeping balance in life. Uh, I, I would have to say that it's balance, remembering that uh, work in this community or, or, or what, whatever my uh, professional responsibility is at the time is extremely important, but so is my family. And I continually work at that, and I have a successful family life, so I'm, I'm having some success there. <laughs>